Hello everyone, welcome back to class. It's Matt here and today I'm going to go over how to print from Revit. I'll be showing you how to make PDF sets and then I'll show you how to print to the small printer when you need an 11 by 17 to look at and how to print to the big plotter if you need full size sheets for a wet seal. Let's jump in and get started. So we print from Revit for the same reasons we print from CAD, right? Sending out plans to the clients, PE reviews, and personal referencing during design phase. I know some people are comfortable using PDFs on their screens or flipping from view to view on their screen, but others like to have a hard copy of a certain view sitting next to them on their desk while that they can quickly reference instead of switching from view to view. I'm one of the latter in that group, so I print views to the small printer so that I can reference that on my desk while I'm working on another view on my screen, first floor and second floor, for a quick example. When we need to send something out to the clients or to the PEs to review, we print full-size PDF files and send those out. So to start the print command in Revit, we go up here to the quick command bar across the very top and we click on the little printer. This will open the printing dialog box. From here you can select the desired printer that you want to use, the views or sheets you would like to print, and the sheet size and sheet settings setups here in this corner. For this exercise we'll be making a set of PDF plans. So the first thing we need to do is select the printer, which is this. If we pull this down, now we have a list of printers. Cute PDF Writer and Adobe both work in Revit, so if that's what you have a full version of on your machine and it's in the list, then select that. All three are acceptable. I have the PDF Exchange Editor, so I'm going to choose that one because that's what's on my machine. So I'll choose that. Now you will see that the file option, which is directly below your printer here, will now become available to edit since you will now be able to choose where the PDF file is being saved to. You can do this now with the browse button right here, but Revit will ask again later at the end of the print process and allow you to browse to the desired location then as well, so I do it then. You'll notice also the combine multiple views is selected. This is important in a few steps. From here, we'll select the sheets we want to print. In the lower left corner, you'll see the print range area here, this little box. If you select this current window, which is what default selects, that will select the current view that you have open in an extents fashion. So however, if you hit the zoom extents, like if you double click your pan button and you zoom out, that's what's going to print. If you choose the visible portion of current view, then that is going to print the visible portion that is in your workspace here of the current view that you have up on your screen. So if you're zoomed in on the floor plan, you're going to print a partial zoomed in print of that view. Okay, the one that we're going to select right now is the selected views and sheets. So we click here. Now, when we select that option, the button be right below it becomes available. We click on that and we get a list of every view and sheet that is currently set up in this model, which is a lot. Okay. Now, we are not interested in printing the views so much in a PDF, so we're going to go down here to the bottom of the list and uncheck this box here that says Views. Now you'll see your scroll bar just got a lot smaller. All of the views just got taken out of, filtered out of the list, and the only thing left in here are the sheets, which will have actual title blocks that we have set up. Okay, so we have E, M and P. This is alphabetical always, so E always comes first, and then we do M and P. Okay, so we're going to scroll down here to our M sheets. 
and we're going to select the first mechanical sheet here. So M0.1. Then we're going to scroll down and we're going to select hold the shift button and select the last sheet. Now that will highlight all of our mechanical sheets. Okay, and then we want to check one of these boxes. Boom, now they're all checked. We just created a batch plot list, basically. Once they're checked, in the upper right corner, you'll see all these save buttons. So we want to save as. Since these are our mechanical sheets, we are going to type in mechanical, mechanical, and hit OK. Now we'll see up here it says mechanical, and if we scroll back down here, only the mechanical sheets are selected. So we would repeat that process to make our plumbing set. And then electrical would, would do the same thing, only you only have one set, your E set. It's all the same. So you only do this once and make an electrical list, and then you can plot. Once we've saved our sheet sets here, then we'll hit OK again. That will take us back here. And then the next step, remember when this combined was checked up here? And I said that was going to be important in a few steps. When you select this selected views and sheets, this automatically rechecks to be create separate files. So when you come out of here from you select this and then choose your mechanical, plumbing, or electrical, then you need to come back up here and reselect this combine to make everything into one PDF instead of printing a bunch of separate PDFs. The other thing to look out for with the saved sheet lists like this is as you add sheets, they will not check themselves into that list automatically. So when you print, it is beneficial to, when you come in here and select your mechanical, plumbing, or electrical, it, it is beneficial to uncheck views and just come down and make sure you don't have an empty box that's checked in the middle of here of a sheet that you forgot you added. So I always do that. I always come down here and at least just scan through these checks and make sure that there isn't a blank spot. And then proceed to the next step, which is choosing your paper size. So for this exercise, we know that we have an 11 or a 30 by 42 title block brought in. So we are going to choose the 30 by 42 full size, which will automatically set all of these to be per, per this plot setting. It's already preset in the template. So all of this stuff will automatically change to be what it needs to be. So when you choose your paper size, 11 by 17, 24, 36, or 3042, you choose it, this will automatically change, and then you just hit OK. So at this point, we can see that we are printing to our preferred PDF maker, be it Adobe or Cute PDF or PDF Exchange. We are combining all of those into one single file when it's done. We are selecting our mechanical sheets and we are printing those on a 3042 full size. Okay, at this point, we would hit OK. And now you wait until this whole process is done. Once the printing process is done, you will eventually get this window here, which is your save as window. So you're going to browse to your job folder, which in this case is going to be your desktop, your Revit training project. And then in this main folder, we're going to make a prints folder. It should, you should just have links central and support. So we'll right click here and make a new folder or however you make new folders you can click here and make a new folder in here and then once you make your prints you'll double click in there and then we will save this in that folder making sure to rename this per the discipline that you are printing 
So we want to pull this back and get rid of all this name of our name so that it's just the job number. And we will say this, we know this is a mechanical set, so we will call it mechanical. And then we will say save. And now that will be saved. Now you have a full set of mechanical plants, which are not showing anything because we don't have anything in them yet, but at least you've made, you printed. To print to the big plotter, the process is almost exactly the same as what we did just did for making this PDF right here, only the main difference is the printer that you're going to select. So if we pull this down, we'll see that we have an OSE plot wave 360. So that is the large printer. You would choose that. And then all of this goes away because now you're not choosing a file location. You are actually sending it to the printer for a hard copy. You would still select your selected views and sheets as a batch plot. And you would still select your chosen sheet size. If you want them full size, you would choose full size. We do have a half size set up, but after talking with Manny, Electrical doesn't use this very often anymore. So you're going to be choosing mainly these three, either your scale to fit for the little one or the two full size sets. So you would choose your sheet size, hit OK. And now this is set up to now go to the OSE plotter. I'm not in the office, so if I hit OK, it's going to give me a big error because I'm not on the network to send it. So um, if you have not sent a print to this plotter before, you may get a secondary window that comes up with the properties of the plotter. Uh, if that happens, just ask someone in the Revit team, probably Manny or myself, um, as we teach more people, we can get rid of that window so it doesn't pop up. And then finally, to send something to the small printer, we would go here to the ASEI BizHub 654. Or being that we're working from home, you should be able to pull this up and have your local computer at home as well. Or Houston would have a different uh, computer, whatever your office computer in your local office is going to be. So you would choose that. And then coming down here to your print range, if you're not trying to print a full set, if you're just doing like we said earlier, this would be the visible portion of a, like a window plot of a partial plan this would be an extents plot of whatever view you have on. So you would come down here, probably most likely pick this, so you're just printing what you're looking at on the screen. And then again, you would come over here to your sheet settings, and you would now choose, it says in session, because we know that the little printer can't print full-size sheets, so uh, Revit resets itself to just be blank, basically. We are going to print 11 by 17 scaled to fit, and hit OK. And now we would be set up here going to the little printer on a window view of what we're looking at on an 11 by 17 scaled to fit. And then we would hit OK. And it would spit out of the plotter, the little printer there next to Dave's office in the Phoenix office. So that is basically a uh, rundown of how you would print in Revit. It should work exactly the way I've shown it. So if it doesn't, then uh, hit me or Manny up and we will get someone assigned to you or we will figure out what your problem is and get it squared away. So thanks for attending this morning and I'll see everybody in the next class. Thanks. Later, everybody.